Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to be felling this standing dead cherry tree. It's at least 40 foot tall. And then over here, there's this uh, uh, silver maple stub. You can see the top broke off. A few months ago, uh, old boy Zach, he, him and Nate came out here and, uh, and, and cut the top up right here. And then we uh, haul, hauled the wood out later. Um, this is going to be a little tricky cutting this. You can see there's not much of a gap here. You know, I'd have to reach way above my head to cut it there, which is kind of dangerous. I'm going to try to put the notch right here and then kind of plunge cut it in here. And hopefully it falls towards the, the quad. It's, it's not tall enough to reach it. It should uh, end up in here, but it's going to be kind of difficult. So you guys are going to be watching me do that. But before I get going on this video, I just wanted to say welcome to my channel if this is your first time here and welcome back all loyal subscribers. I have two firewood channels. This is Joe's Firewood Videos 2. I also have Joe's Firewood Videos. Go ahead and check that channel out. I got over 500 firewood videos there. And uh, if you like it, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. And the reason, this is like my third, vi or probably 30, yeah, third video this week. This is being Wednesday. And last week I delivered three truckloads, which is, which is a real slow week for me. I had been averaging, you know, seven to 10 a week since uh, September. And uh, the way I'm set up, I'm buying logs and everything, you know, our pre-cut blocks. And, uh, you know, I got to keep my uh, system going. And the guys have been with this nice weather we're having. You know, today, yeah, we're back to real winter, but it's only going to last a day. We're having rain come in. But... You know, I haven't sold anything this week, you know, and so I, it, last week was four truckloads. This week's nothing. One guy came and picked up. I delivered three, but it, you know, it's quite the difference from when I was making the videos back in October, November, and I was uh, bitching about, you know, being so busy and customers wanting the wood right away and not being able to get everything. Now I got a ton of wood up at the house and no, no money coming in. And I basically got to sell like two or three truckloads a week just so I can survive, you know. So yeah, I wish I wish I could just sell one truckload a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, or this year, 366 days a year. So I have steady money coming in. You know, it's usually feast or famine in the firewood world. So I just wanted to get that off my chest, talk to you a minute about what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And then get my safety gear on because it's safety first at JPF. If you haven't figured that out yet, you'll see why I got my chaps on. And I'll be wearing this helmet. A lot of you guys don't even wear helmets or hearing protection or eye protection. Hell, even some of my helpers do that too. But, you know, they're grown men. They make their own decisions. So let me put my helmet on. I'm going to have to fire up the saw. It's still kind of cold. I thought about using the 460. Oh, man. Oh, I just pulled a muscle on my back. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I might just have to drop these trees. I'm in so much pain right now. Kind of reached over awkward and, oh, man, right in my upper middle back. I'm having like back spasms. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to tough through it. But you husky guys are loving this.
My back is in pain. Like just below the shoulder, my shoulder blades. I might just drop these and call it a day. Let me get this set up so you can see on this side. You know, once I get going on a video, I can't stop. So I don't do any editing. Alright. Hopefully, this goes better. Well, that one went okay. It's down. That's all that matters. Just got to get this set up so it doesn't wants to fall here. Sorry. I get it. God damn. Sorry, guys. I just got to get it so it's not going to go down. Oh, my God. Well, it's like right between my shoulder blades, pull the muscle bad, right in my middle back, towards the top. Ugh. Oh, there goes Chad. Oh. Hey, Chad. Better, but still sore as hell. 
see how long that took. You know, I, I think the saw, it'd, it'd be better if it was had a sharper chain on it. And just the lighting a little bit, get a little brighter. Eh. All right, let's give you a little bit of bonus footage. If it's cutting like crap, I'm just gonna stop. Like I say, my back's killing me. I'm gonna try to stand up straight. But it took the breath out of me when my muscle got pulled. Did it ever happen to you? I usually have a high tolerance for pain, but this is getting me. I'll give, give you a close-up view of the cutting. I'll, let, I'll show you the notch. There's my notch. Great, great my notch. You know, I kind of bumped that tree, but it worked. Oh, my back. Sorry about me crying about it, but I'm in pain. Man. But the show must go on. Right, Leonard? No games will be played.
hurts when I stand straight up. It's not bad when I'm bending over. Oh. But you can see what how many I got from it. I gotta back the trailer up in here and load up. I think the saw is sharp enough to do that. Cut this up, this cherry. Cut that stump down and load it up and go. Should be about a full quad trailer. Way my back feels right now. <clears throat> I am in serious pain. I'm not lying. But anyway, thanks everybody who made it to the end. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at the next one.